Okay guys, here we go. We are back with all the parts. It's the next morning. I've got all the parts here and I think I've got everything that I need. So we're going to put together a small vessel for Hurley and I decided I want to go with six uh, on six directions. I wanted to go with four thrusters on each one so I made 24 of those and I made her some weapons and ammo and stuff and we've got some regular blocks. I may or may not throw in some hardened steel. We'll see. So let's get started here with the starter block. And of course the starter points in the direction that you're facing when you place it. The ship points in that direction. And I'm going to be using this cockpit so we are not going to have any symmetry axis. We're not going to be able to use a symmetry axis. So this should be interesting. Um, let's see. Okay, so the, the items I want to place on here are the generator and the fuel tank and I probably need the core, I need an extra core, let's see, okay, so we're going to put a generator here, we're going to put a fuel tank here, and I'm going to put two RCSs up here and hopefully they will go where I want them to maybe they fix the placement points I spoke too soon <laughs> okay there we go there's two RCS's and I'm going to put a core here so I will leave that spot empty and actually I'll leave these two spots empty because I don't need anything there and we'll get some engines going here and what we want to do is we want to put, let's see, which way are these facing? They're facing up. So I want, let's see, I want two of them out. So let me place a block here. I want two of them like this. Come on. There we go. Before it tilts and messes me up. Come on. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to have these two here. And then the other two on the other side. We'll put these in. Come on. Come on. Okay, I need to put another block here. <laughs> Just to place it against. Okay, so there we go. And, and then I want to put... Let's see here. We'll go like this. There we go. Okay, so I want two up. Whoops. And like this and I don't need to be up there anymore okay and then I need two facing down if I can get them on here there we go if I can get them to take it should bounce up come on bounce up there we go okay and I should be able to get that under there <laughs> maybe maybe there we go, and should be able to, yes, thank you. Okay, and then I can go back to these. And these. Come on, there we go. Okay, so now we have two of the axes taken care of. We just need backward and forward facing thrusters and we can take care of those in a minute and now that this is actually a lot bigger I can get the core out of the way and hopefully this thing won't just fall through the ground whoa okay there we go alright so now we have for the most part the fuselage and I want to put on I'm going to need to put on some constructors and ammo boxes so why don't I do that and I'm gonna to have to find a place for the O2 tank so I'm going to need let's see two spaces here four and then two four so those can be symmetrical off to the sides I think and I can put the constructors up here and the other thing I was looking at is uh, let's see here. I don't think I'm going to be able to put the constructors on the back like this. The other thing I was looking at is that 
<laughs> I love this. I love the magic things. The other thing I was looking at is the weight on the cargo boxes versus the constructors. I mentioned that the constructors are a little better to put as far as... There we go. As far as having a space all together so that you don't overlap stuff. But I'm looking at the, the cargo boxes, and I think the cargo boxes weigh quite a bit less. So it may be a lot better to actually put the cargo boxes on instead of the constructors. I'll have to look at the ship's total weight and how it performs and if it needs help then we can go back and change that. So here I think we're going to put ammo boxes and all these special parts have problems with the placement points and so that's why it's doing this and I think we'll put the O2 tanks up here on one side not that the symmetry is a huge deal, and not that it matters that much, but just just for the fun of it. And we're going to put the O2 on this side, and then we'll put these down here. And these will also be our wing outlets here, I think. We can put some little wing type thingies here. So that's going to be these blocks, and I'll probably want to put a flat piece like this in front of it and I may or may not want to put <laughs> hardened steel in those places instead but we'll get some blocks going here and let's see come on there we go okay and then these are going to be like I want those upside down and then like that and maybe I'll do these instead to ramp it up quicker no I want it I want it like this I want it like this I want it quicker not smoother okay and then we're gonna make wings now what I've been doing is on my ships I keep doing this what is that two three four five that's five what I keep doing is I keep using these thinner blocks to make the wings because it looks nicer when you're doing you know the sharp sharper little wings or whatever but the problem I run into with that is that when you have the thin blocks you can only put stuff mount stuff either on top or on bottom depending on which part of the depending on which part of the which side of the block you've put the thin part on so I think I'm going to do this instead because that way I can have the full block in there and then I can put come on let's go this way this way come on this way I like how it wants to go up there even though there's nothing to attach to but it doesn't want to go down there <laughs> but yeah that this these wing configurations will actually allow me to sit you know a full weapon on there instead of just nothing so we'll see what we can get on here and I think we're going to put the plasma weapons let's see we want to put the Gatling guns as close to the center as possible because they don't seem to correct very well and so maybe underneath so I guess I'm gonna to have to wait until we get up in the air with this thing and so I'm going to put the plasma cannons on the side of the cockpit. Is that? Yeah, that looks maybe one back. Back one? Come on. Back one. One more. One more. It doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to go. Okay. I can put it there. And I want to put the other one underneath it. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so I'll try to get this one over here. Is it? Yeah, there we go. It's against the cockpit. Okay. So we'll get those once we get the ship up in the air. Which actually I think we could technically do now if we wanted to. Because it has RCSs and stuff. It just can't go forward. Let's see. We'll go into the... Why can't I go into the... Oh, I took the core out. That's why. Do I have the new core? Did I make the new core? Did I not make a new core? Okay, I guess I didn't make the new core, so we'll do that later. And we need to get the 
rail guns on here, so we'll do that. And I'm thinking I'm going to put these two on top and two on bottom. And space them out a little bit. And I think I am going to have to go build a core. So let's go do that real quick. Go build a core. And we have SV core. Okay, there we go. So we can build that. And we can throw that on. And we can throw all this stuff in here. So we don't have to mess with that. Whoops, I'm going to need that too. <laughs> Okay, so the core is going to go right here. So, like I said, I'm going to need that. That's why I pulled out that one. And we'll get this going. And I can throw fuel in there from here instead of trying to get through the P screen. Okay, and I might. Whoa. Let's see. Let's go up. There we go. Now it should, I used the O key to level it so it should stay where it's at. And I should be able to get, let's see, are these my plasma? These are my plasma, come on. There it was, there it is. Okay, there's one, and there's two. And then we can get the Gatling guns on here, I think, maybe. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. And we can get these. Let's see, where do they go? Rail guns. So make kind of an X-wing type configuration here. And there we go. Okay, so we have rail guns. We have our weapons. We have some thruster ports. I need to put some protection around this, which I will probably use the hardened steel to do and probably need a decoration around the end and to wrap this around here and i also need places to put the thrusters which i can do let's see this we can put there we go one and two whoa is this thing gonna take off <laughs> I, th I think it's gonna take off because it has forward but not backwards. Okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. And I'll probably want to stagger these. I don't know. I don't know if I want to stagger them or if I want to keep them paired, paired in there. Maybe put the other ones, the retros, there. I don't know. Actually, that would probably look better when I paint it up. Because I'm not going to be able to texture these. So, we'll go like this. And this. And yeah, so these two spots, we're going to put this here. And this here. Okay. There we go. And then I need to put some, obviously, the, all the blocks around it to make it look decent and stuff. But I think that's all that we had to add other than just the landing gear. So I can actually put those on now, too. Let's see. We'll get up here in the air. And... Yep, that'll work. Move up here a little bit. Okay, and we can get out here, and yeah, I did go a little bit too far. Okay, so I can put those on the bottom of that, or I can, yeah, do I want to put them on the bottom of the weapons, mm, or do I want to put them on the bottom of the engines? I think I want to put them on the bottom of the engines, like that, and I can put these behind the weapons so that they don't... That'll work. So we'll get back in and we'll take this thing for a little test flight. Let's see how it handles. Oh yeah, that handles great. Okay. 
handles the handles really nice okay and let's see what kind of thrust and everything 36 meters per second so it's faster than my wimpy little ship that should be nice okay and cool so I can put all this stuff in the ammo boxes all right excellent okay so we can finish off the outside now I probably want to make this come up obviously so this is probably gonna look a lot like my prior ship <laughs> my uh, whatchamacallit and I need to decide at what rate I want this to ramp up so we can make it ramp up and actually I can use my new favorite blocks again like this will that cover it because I want the third one fourth one to be there one two three four so yeah these will start here and then they'll go here and I should have made to do two stacks of these blocks so I could do this the right way and that okay now it's a full block all right and I can make it come out the side too so why don't I use the drone for this and we'll go swap these I wish there was a mirror and let's see like that nope nope <laughs> for some reason this one just yeah <laughs> okay I need to turn this around that way and that way Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And here we go. And one more. There we are. Okay, now this can come out and actually meet the rest of that. So I can do this. So why don't I actually do this? And make this come all the way out so that we can s see what it's going to look like before I spin it around on the other side again and we don't want to cover that up let's see yeah we do but we don't want to use that one to cover it up so I'm going to put little ramps let's see we'll use I need to break up this block set here too so I'm going to split these steel blocks like this so that I can put these let's see I want this wedge and I want it that way and then I want a solid block up here do I yeah, I think I want. No, I, let me see if I can get the other one sideways. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this one. Yeah, that matches up nice. Lee. Okay. And that. Not sure about that cockpit. That looks kind of weird. <laughs> but we'll see how that comes out. So we'll spin these around and do the same thing over here. So we've got that and that and these two and then is this is this the diagonal? Yeah. So I want to spin it around that way. There we go. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And jetpack on. Okay. And we'll keep adding to these. 
So I need to get this thing. Whoops. Blue axis. There we go. Okay. And that corner. So once you get the first corner, you just keep moving along this line. And then you can you can add each one onto the next one. And I think I'll leave that sharp edge there because that matches up nicely. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but then how does this come back? I think this should, should just stay solid. So we will do a solid block. Where's our solid blocks? There we go. Okay, and I want... Let's see, I want this one. Yeah, I think I want that one. And I want it to go... Like that. Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna do solid blocks. So, let's see. Let me get this on the other side so I go back to the solid block. And actually that makes more sense, doesn't it? I think that makes more sense. And it will use a lot fewer blocks. So why don't I do this? Put the corner in there. Okay. So I'll take this one out. And we'll put a corner in there. And then we'll put chopped off corner block. There we go. And then we can put ramps along there. Like this. To seal that edge up. So we can hide the constructors. And we can put... Let's see. I need to figure out how to seal up this middle section. So I think I'm going to do these. And I probably want to do this piece. Whoops. Like that. Yeah. And then we're going to do this. We're going to sneak back with these. Like that. And then we'll do the ramps. So, same thing on this side. Where are the ramps at here? No, oh, those are those pieces. I'm totally going to lose what I've got on this. <laughs> and have to go back and reference everything for the other side. So, let's see. Where's, where's my ramps? So, we have that. And that's going to go in here right yes and then that's going to be solid blocks all the way back are these nope those are not solid these are not solid these are not solid okay what am i missing here all right i'll just do the solid blocks here and then go back And somehow I think I ended up blocking in. Yeah, I blocked in those thrusters, but that's okay. They'll live. We've got two there. Okay. And for those of you who aren't aware, the thrusters do not need to be exposed. They don't burn other blocks or not work or anything like that if they're if they're covered up like that. So I'm just going to leave them. It's it's all aesthetics right now with those. So Let's see, we'll cover this in as well. Probably end up leaving a hole there for the O2. And then, need to turn this ramp around. There we go. And maybe even put a corner on there. Yeah, we'll put a corner on here. So, I'm going to get this other side symmetrical and I will be back in a little bit okay guys we're back for day two of this 
build and let's see what we can do here. So I've got it hovering now and I want to get this kind of stuff cleaned up a little, at least something on there so that it doesn't look like it's just hanging out in the space. So we'll see what we can get to, to work on there. Let's see. What do we have that's already started? So we will take... Um, let me see here. That. And I want to do that with this block. So we'll do this and bring that up, I think. So we'll do that and a solid block and a small ramp. Small ramp. There we go. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So that's going to be here and here and this one. Okay, and I also want to cover up all this stuff with some plates. So let me get, should probably do hardened steel for that just in case we're getting shot from the bottom. So we'll do this and hopefully this won't make the ship too heavy but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so there's the bottom protection, and we've got some semblance of something here, and that's a little hokey. I wish I could do something a little smoother than that, but I don't think, I don't think there's anything that's going to work any better than that little <laughs> thing. And these are what, the oxygen tanks? The ammo boxes? Yeah, I probably want to cover those up too. <laughs> probably a good idea. Yeah, I think. Okay. And the bottoms of the thrusters here. And landing gear have a zillion armor and hit points, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. And. I think that's what we need for that. And let me see which way was this thing pointing. We can do this. Do a little decoration here. There we go. And we'll do the same on the other side. And we'll go to the green axis. Spin. Okay, and I think I'm going to let Hurley paint this herself so that she can have her own choice of paint colors. And I'm trying to decide whether or not to put a fin up on the top. I kind of like it flat, but it might look nice with some kind of fin up here. Let's let's try it. Let's see what, let's see what it does. Um, we will go with this block here, and we'll let's see. We'll do. can start here. That is wall sloped bottom, wall sloped top, and I think that's going to be the same for the wall. No? Okay. So we will stick with these and we'll use the wall for this one. There we go. And then we'll continue with these. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> it scared me for a second. And where did we go? This one. Too many controls. And that. And I think we can even do that. Yeah, that probably looks a little better. So we're going to put the same thing on the other side. Three and a one. 
And I just put that on the wrong side of the block, didn't I? <laughs> nice. Okay, so we'll put it here. And I can erase those when I'm done with this. And these are going to be the other side. Yes. There we go. Okay. And that one. And that one. And this is going to... That. There we go. Like that. Okay, so now I can just get rid of these. That's a lot of light. I think there's probably too much light on here. I'll probably have to turn down the lights to get it to not be so obnoxious. Turn down these lights here because they're very, very bright. So might even turn down the intensity, turn up the range, and do the same with this one. I can't believe I'm turning down lights, but it's washed out, so we'll do that. Okay, that looks, that looks a lot better. Okay, and I think that's the whole ship. So let's see, whoops, turn it back on, and we'll take it out for a spin, see how she looks, see how she handles. Looks like a very dangerous ship, doesn't it? I like this. So we'll see if Hurley likes it, and what, you know if she wants to paint it Barbie pink, or <laughs> which she doesn't actually like that color. So I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, she likes blues and greens. So I'm guessing it'll end up in blues and greens, or pinks and purples, or something like that. So we'll see. It looks cool. Looks cool. I, I like it. And you know what? The landing gear are not even. I need to lower the landing gear. Hmm, okay. So there's that. And I think that's all that I need to do with that. And so we're going to end the video here. And we will see you guys in episode 17. Where I'm going to build, start building on the big base on Omicron. And the next time Hurley and I do some adventuring together you'll be seeing this ship in its completed form and we'll be sure to put a blueprint up on steam so that you can download it as well so we'll see you in the next video later